can do that. And we're gonna take a little break here. Oh, look at the little jellyfish. Yeah. Right there. Ooh, He's got it on his... Oh, wow. Hold him. Is it a jellyfish? It's a jellyfish. Does he sting? Well, I mean, he's already holding it. Oh, wow. Stings on top here. But on the bottom, they don't. So these guys are called upside down jellyfish. I want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Stingers are on top. Yeah. And it's real mild, so they're. And if you look down, you can see there's tons of them. I'm trying. Did you Whoa. just dig it up? Um, yeah, I just kind of scooped them, scooped them up off the bottom. So they're. Oh, okay. I see you now. Yep. Yeah, there's. Oh, and that's why they're upside because they're 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 bottom feeders. Yeah, you can just put them back in. Yeah, I saw three already. All right, let them back in. Yeah, the different kinds of algae that live in the ocean. Right, right. So they share the um, glucose that the algae makes from photosynthesis. Okay. With the uh, jellyfish, so the jellyfish provides keeps them in the uh, so it's a nice symbiotic relationship in, in the sunlight and keeps dirt from covering them and um, yeah, I'm moving. So besides shellfish, you can see there's some sea cucumbers. Ooh. They look like little logs. Oh, don't get her excited. She's hungry. Yes. <laughs> That's the one I said I thought was a banana. Right. They kind of like that. So they're um, actually their defense me mechanism if a predator attacks them is they shoot their entire digestive system oh, out ew. and envelop the <laughs> predator. And then they can regrow that digestive system in oh, one to five cute. days. Oh my god. Wow. So, uh, they were at one time the biggest uh, supplier of key limes in the United States. Oh, they would wow. actually bring. Uh, bring their key limes up to Henry Flagler's railroad cut road and uh, ship them up to New York. And uh, as, as he uh, made his money, um, they bought two more islands. So Cotton Key and Old Rhodes Key, which kind of surround this whole shallow Jones Lagoon area. They, um, uh, so, but eventually transportation got better and it, it wasn't, um, it, it was pretty hard environment to grow fruits and stuff. There, there's not a lot of topsoil. But the boys figured out that it was pretty easy to be a fishing guide at the Coco Lobo Club. Ah, yeah. okay, so actually Richard Nixon considered Lancelot Jones a good friend of his. He used to take him out and take him fishing. When, Very cool. when he was here. Um, when the park became a national monument in 1967, Lancelot was the only surviving member of the family. He actually sold all this land. He was the first one to sell it to the Park Service. And he sold this area for $1.25 million. Holy cow. With that much That's money, he could have gone anywhere. But actually, he negotiated with the park for what's called life estate. And he was able to continue living in his home on Porgy Key. Um, and he actually lived there until 1992. So anybody know what happened in 92? Not the, which hurricane was that? Hurricane Andrew. Andrew, right. And this was right at the ground zero. Yeah. 
be, uh, I got it back the way I did, and he ended up living in Miami for another six years to the age of 99. Oh, wow. But so when you guys um, came uh, came in, the road you came in on uh -huh. was called uh, Sir Lancelot Jones Way. Okay.